Hello, welcome back. Adjustable stocks. The good, the bad and the ugly. So what is good about adjustable stocks? An adjustable stock is very good for doing two things. You raise it if you want the gun to shoot higher. You lower it if you want the gun to shoot lower. And it is very, very good for aligning your eye down the center of the rib. And so you adjust your comb, left or right, until your eye is perfectly aligned with the rib. And that is the major function of an adjustable comb. You go up or down to make the gun shoot up or down, and left or right to adjust your eye down, perfectly centred, down the centre of the rib of the gun. So that's the good about adjustable stocks. The bad. The bad thing about adjustable stocks is that we tend to adjust them too much. And so we tend to move them up, down, left, right. But really, once your eye is lined up perfectly with that rib, you forget the left and right movement because your eye is lined up with the rib and all you really should play around with very rarely is up or down to change the point of impact of your gun up if you want it to shoot high lower it if you want it to shoot lower so that's the bad the ugly there's there is so much stuff written about adjustable combs and we tend to think, and if we watch a lot of videos and read, even read some stuff, there are some things said about adjustable combs that just aren't true. So on my gun, I've got a front bead and a mid bead. Now, the ugly about adjustable combs is that they say you can shift your point of impact left or right. Well, you can't really, because if we move, our eye to the right it's not going to line up with the front bead and the mid bead you're only going to line up your two beads if your eye is perfectly centered down the rib of the gun and if you move it to the left you still can't line up you still can't shift your point of impact because your eyes got to go back here in order to line up with the beads so where does the where does all this misinformation come from? Well, it does, you can shift your point of impact if you don't have a mid bead. Now, what do you have to do to shift your point of impact? Well, if you don't, you can't shift your point of impact if you've got a mid bead and a front bead because there's two fixed points. Those two fixed points can only ever line up if your eye is down the middle of the rib. So where's this confusion about shifting point of impact? If you don't have a mid rib, a mid bead, then if you shift your comb to the right, your gun will shoot to the right because you only have to line up your eye and the front bead. And if you shoot your, if you move your comb to the left, then the gun will shoot to the left because you only have to line up with the front bead. But what are you doing? The ideal situation is to have your eye perfectly down the rib, the center of the rib. But if you want to, sh if you shift your point of impact and move it left or right, the cone, then you're looking across the gun. You're looking this way across the gun. And that's not what you want. You want to be looking straight down that rib. So there's a lot of misinformation about adjustable stocks. So just in conclusion, the adjustable stock really just does two things. It makes your gun shoot higher and lower or lower, does that very well, and centers your eye along the rib of the gun. And it does that very well too. You cannot shift your point of impact with an adjustable comb because you've got two fixed points and those two fixed points demand 
that your eye is centered with the rib. I hope that was useful. Good to see you again. And I'll see you next time. And thanks for watching.